Hey, it's Mike Lesson. I am near Princeville, Illinois, kind of central Illinois, uh, not too far from Peoria, and I am out in the field with a crew that is harvesting pumpkins. It's mid-November here, so when you think of pumpkins, you think of Halloween, and they would be harvested already, and also a lot of us would probably think of harvesting pumpkins as uh, a job you do by hand. But uh, they are windrowing these pumpkins, and the pumpkins you see here are actually going, and they're going to be processed and used to make pumpkin pie filling, and some pumpkins are used in dog food as well. I've been around these tractors before. They were sold by Painter Farm Equipment out of Monmouth, Illinois, and the tractors have been in there for service. I've seen them, but uh, this is the first time I got to see them actually running out in the field. The harvesting devices you see here are custom built by this crew just for this job. Uh, and also, you're probably wondering how they windrowed these pumpkins. I did not get any video of that, but coming up in the next clip, uh, you're going to see an attachment on the front of a John Deere tractor that goes through the field and will row these pumpkins so they can come through here and pick them up. And you're going to see various shots here coming up in the video as well, uh, how this uh, picks these pumpkins up and carries them up the conveyor, puts them in the trailer or the dump cart, and then they will go and dump them into a semi and haul them off to be processed right away. Most of us think of Illinois as a corn and soybean state, but over 90% of the processed pumpkins grown in the United States come from the state of Illinois. Pumpkins originated in Central America, and they are a fruit and made up of 90% water. 2008, Illinois produced 496 million pounds of pumpkins. Okay, and this attachment here on the front of this tractor is what they use to windrow these pumpkins or to go through the field and put them in rows so they can harvest them. So just doing a quick walk around here is that I did not get to see this run in the field today. Again, this attachment was uh, hand-built or custom-built by the crew itself. At the bottom of the front blade here, there is a hydraulic roller that kind of kicks the pumpkins up and then uh, blade pushes them over into the windrow. Now we're going to walk over here and look at one of the custom-built uh, harvesting devices they use to uh, straddle the row of pumpkins and then it conveys them up into the dump cart, which you're going to see in action here in a little bit. This one's on a versatile 250 tractor. In this video, you're going to see uh, the one here on this 250. You're going to see one on a uh, early style uh, Bueller Genesis Versatile, and then there's an 8970 uh, New Holland tractor in here painted red, and there's one on there in action as well. I was wrong, it's an 8770, so that's what you're going to see right here. Uh, this was a blue tractor, but they wanted it to match the other one, so they went ahead and painted this one red. So like any harvesting operation, waiting on trucks is always the issue, but they had a semi coming in here about every 15 minutes, they said, and two dump carts would fill a semi, which you're going to see here coming up.
Okay, everybody, I'm always trying to bring you something new and different to my YouTube channel, and this was definitely that, so I hope everyone enjoyed it, and thanks for watching this video.